What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Armand. I got Kyle with me. I got the whole gang with me. We're gonna get into some fit checks in a little bit. But before we get into that, we've seen in the last video's comments that you guys have been liking Cody's cleaning segment a lot. Uh, Cody actually wants to show you something he's been working on. What's going on, guys? Your boy Cody here, Driven Clean AZ. Got a pair of lot dunks that I've been working on. Here's a little side by side. I still am working on these a little bit more, but. Stay tuned to this uh, video. I'm gonna be showing a tutorial of how I ice soles. Kyle got a great example for you guys right here. And if you guys don't know about icing, Jordan 11s, Jordan 6s, stuff like that, gets nice and piss yellow like this. Someone peed right on it. Someone peed right on these boys. Uh, they just get super nasty and ugly, and Cody brings them back to something like that. You wouldn't believe it, but should he actually does. Should we pop up another picture? Yes, pop up another picture for him. Right here, you see it right there? Right there, you see the clean. You know crispy. what I do, that is my job my biz come through yes. dripping clean easy baby yes check them out but yes cody brings stuff from this to this you wouldn't believe it like i said but he does it so yeah stay tuned in this video and we'll show you the segment how to uh ice holes but as you guys can see by the title of this video we are trying something new here at the shop today kyle's gonna break it down for you guys a little bit yes like armand said something new here me armand noah cody all of us here in the shop today are gonna be doing a collective effort going through just some personal shoes that we're gonna be picking each one of us is all gonna have a little different opinion you know, gonna give it a little spice to it. Just stuff to basically invest in right now. A couple pairs that we think that are smart to invest in on our personal opinions, as well as just good, affordable summertime shoes that we think that would be a good shoe for you guys and what we're putting on our own piggies. Last but not least, don't forget, SneakerCon Atlanta is this weekend. We got a whole bunch of videos coming out for you guys. Yes, a whole bunch of videos while we are there. Our mom's gonna be here holding down the shop for us, being a real trooper. Me, Noah, Cody, Koo, all gonna be out there. But come say what's up to us out at Atlanta. And come say what's up to my mom. There you go. While they're out in Atlanta, please come say what's up to me in Arizona because yes. it's going to be lonely out here without the boys. Hey, but our mom's going to be holding it down and been doing his thing for sure. To finish it off, we got one more thing. Our two year anniversary is coming up as you guys can see by the flyer. Yes. Check it out. Make sure to stop by if you're in the Phoenix area. It'll be well worth coming. If you live out of country, it'll be well worth coming too. Trust me. We throw in the steals, baby. We're giving away off white dunks. So we got a nice bench full. You see this bench right here? This thing's going to be filled with absolute steelios for sure. 50 to 100 pairs. First 200 people in line, free raffle ticket for an off-white dunk. Whole entire store is discounted. Everything. Bring it up to the counter. We'll give you a discounted price. 25% off all clothing and accessories and all that good stuff. To all the OGs that were here Black Friday, you know. It's yes. literally just going to be Black Friday Part 2. Yes, Black Friday Part 2. We have two Black Fridays of the year, baby. Also, be sure to check out my giveaway that I'm doing for you guys. All the rules are in the description. First place is going to be winning a Nike dunk of your choice. Second place is going to be winning a Yeezy slide of your choice. Uh, I'm doing this giveaway for all the continued support you guys have been showing us at the shop and myself. Like Armand said, you guys have been showing us love we're gonna be showing you guys love at the two-year anniversary our mom's doing a little giveaway so make sure to tap into that and tap into our fit checks fit checks yes sir fit checks coming right now all right guys i'm starting this off today with the drip the drip check drip check the drip check fit check something like that today i got on the ravioli baby meatball where's the ball at somewhere on there the meatball ravioli pack right, right here phillies what it's way in the middle i don't know i'm way off i'm way off i can't see got the ice on got the phoenix souls we repping today Phoenix Souls on Phoenix Souls, you see it, you see it. Back hit, you see it. I always love them back hits. And then you got the oh, Eric Emanuel shorts. What do you mean by that? Shout out to Coop. And then I got the off-white green dunks. Wait, stay down here, stay down here. Come over here. Oh. Bring her up, bring her up. Yes, sir. You already know. It's your boy Cody showing off my fit today. My mm. favorite right now, beer pack, Seattle. Don't mind that, don't mind that. Stain. Little stain, little Stussy tea. Got my cargos on and then you already know. Starting off top, got the faded ass chrome heart seat. Hey, we it's beat vintage our chrome. Now. We yeah. beat our chrome right Probably here. watched this shit like 300 times. We got the 70s Levi's orange tab. Bend over for him, show him where that tag is. Orange <laughs> <laughs> show him that booty. Dab. And then on the feet, we got the dunkles. Wow, for a steal. For a steal. 300 oh, wow. bucks. Wow. Shout out Sergio, OG out here in Phoenix. Appreciate 300. you, bro. But yeah, easy. As always, Stussy hat on top, a little blank tee today. Some essentials shorts. And I got the brotherhoods. Left on. Uh, affordable shoe right here. So maybe one of us will pick these up. But that wraps it up for our little intro today. We're going to get into our picks right now. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna start us off with our picks today. You know, something to invest in, something to wear for the summer, and then something that we are looking for personal to wear right now during the summer, all that good stuff. And we're gonna give our opinions on each shoe we pick out. I think we're gonna have a good variety here too between me, Kyle, Cody, and Armand. So we're gonna hop into it right now. I'm gonna start off with a pair that I've been eyeing for a little bit. I think it's a good summer shoe. And it's a shoe that you don't see all the time for sure. And it is the, the Drake's, the Nocta's, the Hot Air Steppas. I think these are fire. I said that this is like a Nike version of a Wave Runner. Which I'm always checks over stripes. This right here is a six shoe for me. It's clean. The leather on it's super buttered too, but it's cool. They're starting to come out with some more colorways of these. I know they leaked like a purple version and there's a black and yellow version coming out and they already have the black version. This is an invest or a personal? No, or? this is a personal. It's just something oh, our that's personal. Cool personal there. pick this, right here. Yeah, this is a personal pick. I think this is a good summer shoe too. This is a shoe that I really like. It's different. It's a new silhouette. So this is one of my top picks right now. This is a side note. This is an invest. This isn't a personal pick, but we just got these in and I want to hear your guys' opinions on them because we've been sharing our opinions in here. But right here, we have the Tom Sachs general purpose shoe. This shoe came out like a week ago now, Trash. two weeks ago. Trash can. Comment down below, what do you guys think? I know the story behind this is to like, just have a shoe that you can wear all the time, but we all have our mixed opinions here. So what comment do down think? below. I don't know yet. I keep looking at them. I, I've seen them, people wear them. I think they definitely look better on foot, but it is it is a boring shoe, but that is the point of it. So I don't know, for the price. What do you think? Whoa, I think they're pretty, uh, they're all right. I don't really like the, Midsole, or I don't really like this. They me and Cody, like, they came look like a famous footwear shoe. Yeah, me and Cody came to the conclusion. It looks like they're from famous footwear. Famous footwear. I think if the shoe wasn't five hundred dollars, like if it was, because the whole purpose of it is so you can wear it every day. But I don't know anyone spending five hundred dollars wear a shoe every day. So if it was like re if these sat for retail, I don't think it'd be that bad. I think it's like a good all day shoe. But. What do you think? On what? Tons. These are fire. Actually, I don't know. Me and Noah both think these are dope. I think like these are a great everyday wear and like gym shoe. I don't know. I don't think they should be five hundred dollars. They shouldn't be worth five hundred bucks. But, but I, I think it's like a, it's a cool everyday shoe. Yeah. If it's your style, but it's not everybody's style. All right, my next shoe right here. It's not a summer color, but you can wear these with shorts, and these are super comfortable. But these are the Jound New Balance nine nineties. Um, these are super cool. The price is a little bit steeper. This is a smaller size, so it goes for a little bit less. But they're ranging from like three fifty to four hundred. But what I will tell you guys is all the Jounds do go up like super heavy, super high. Um, I know some of the OG ones go for like six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Even I know like the older ones are touching a rack. But I really like this color right here. It's good to get them before they get too expensive. But this is one of my other personal picks right here. This next shoe I'm gonna pick is a good investment. I think, I don't know how long it's gonna take to go up, but it's a shoe that is super, super cheap and the quality on it's super nice, even for personal. We talked about these kind of in the last one, but these are going for like under retail right now. I think this is a very good shoe to pick up. Red, Jordan colorways always go for a bunch of money in the future or at some point in time. And I think this is cool because the color blocking is a little bit different. It's kind of similar to the Travis Fragment High with the white toe and then just, yeah, that white toe instead of like a black toe, something like that. It's so it's a little bit different. Of blue. Yeah, exactly. But the leather on this is super nice. Like I said, these are going for under retail. So maybe in the future, these might pop off and go for a lot, but either way, buy them right now while oh, they're low before they go up. My personal opinion is they will take some time, but it's I, gonna think take they, a long time. I think it will take some time, but they'll go up. Yeah, and it, it's a clean color. For my last pick, I'm gonna do a summer pick. These shoes came out a little bit while ago. They were really good sellers in here when they first came out. But I think this is like a perfect summer shoe, honestly. The Padas, the Air Ooh, Max good Lunge. Good choice. Yeah, this is a good choice. This is a good summer shoe. This came out like, what, two, three months ago now? I don't know. Two to three months ago, I, I could remember. Be I think wrong. it was like three or four. Honestly. But we were slinging these heavy when they came out. They've slowed down a little bit, but they're at 380, so they've gone up a tiny bit. I don't know what the other sizes are at. Yeah, like 350 to 380 to 400. Both colors, though. Great alternatives. Yeah. These are very, very good summer colors. It's a low top. I've been feeling the runners lately. Me and Kyle have been talking about it a lot. The Air Max days but we kind of want to get back into that a little bit. But I think those are really good summer shoes. The price isn't too bad. It is an older release, but try to find those if you can. It's a good summer shoe. All right, to start this off, I'm gonna give you guys my picks. First off, I'm gonna start off with my personal, which is right over here. It's a pretty heavy hitter, pretty expensive. Right here, got the Supreme Dunks, the blue colorway. I really like these. I, I did not know super, you wanted those. Yeah, these, these are super clean. They grew on me a lot. I used to actually dislike these a lot. So why do you think it's a good summer shoe? Tell them. You can wear these with shorts, which would look very well. I think I would wear these with shorts, honestly. Or pants. You can wear them both all year round. Yep. You can show them with no shows. You can show them with Nike socks. You can show them with anything. But these are pretty fresh with the white laces. I would throw in there. When did you want those? When did you start wanting those? Actually, when Ku got these. Yeah, the blue pair is pretty. I don't know why. I'm not gonna lie, the blue pair is pretty fire. It's low key my favorite pair. I don't I know all of them. 
I don't know why, but I really like them now. Summer shoe for everybody. What can everybody pick out? Obviously a dunk. Sorry. Sorry to do it to you guys. I know dunks are kind of getting old and annoying, but you can't go wrong with the summer dunk. So I would probably pick like these. These are a great price. It's a good shoe. Right here. These are a great price right now and a good colorway. Purple as well. I think this would be a good summer shoe. And now my investment shoe would be shoe. Definitely not gonna be at dunks. We're gonna make our way away from dunks. These actually. These are gonna be these are gonna be going up, especially after summer, I say. When it gets more fall time, I feel like these are gonna be a heavy hitter and the price is gonna start rising on these. I still need a pair of these actually. I'm still looking for a pair. I still want them. Size 10 men. If you guys got them, bring them by. All right, guys, now we're gonna get into my picks, my investing, my personal, and my summer shoe. But I'm gonna be combining my personal and my summer shoe into one branded shoe. To get into it, I'm gonna be picking the New Balance. In my opinion, this shoe has been on the come up this whole last year with all the collabs it's been doing and just how clean they are and affordable and all the colorways they've been doing. Like Kyle's gonna show you some pairs off right now. Yeah, this one's personally my favorite pair. I really think this is my favorite colorway that they've done. Really? I know it's probably crazy, but I don't know why. Every time I come in here, I say I like this. I wish this was my size. This is probably the first New Balance I would get personally, but our mom wanted to address that it's just crazy about New Balance, how you know they're on the come up is because like this one right here isn't even a collab shoe. You have like the, how do you say it? Aliman Dior. Aliman Dior. Aliman, whatever you say it. Aliman Dior. I don't know how to say it, but like a shoe like this, which is a collab shoe, a shoe like this that isn't collab, this is sitting around like 420. But this one right here, no collab, no nothing at all. Regular New You're Balance. You're telling me like two years ago that this shoe would be going for about 350 right now. A regular New Balance shoe, 350 which is absolutely crazy. That just shows the come up and, and the hype is, is building. And the dad shoe is coming back around. For New Balance to be at 350. The dad know, shoe is coming back around. You know that wave. But New Balance, I don't know, it's super like, you can go from a shoe for 180 yeah, all exactly. the way to 440, so. Like I was gonna say, see, Armand, me and Armand both had the same idea. This shoe right here, 180, it's not like, you know, the the cleanest colorway. It's definitely got a lot going on, but like you could find them for cheaper. You could find them for more expensive. There's more hyped ones. There's more simple ones. All that good stuff. But overall, my personal pick and dope summer shoe is gonna be the New Balance. But getting into my investment shoe of 2022, all summer long, is the Union Dunk. Wow, you took mine. That's what you're gonna do. <laughs> is the Union Dunk. Me and Noah were actually talking about it earlier, how you can get a Union shoe, not even just a Union shoe, but a Dunk at that for around 250 to 500 bucks, just depending on the colorway. Like Armand said, just depending on the colorway, like all three of these colorways, when everybody heard these were coming out, nobody thought they were gonna be going for this low. This one was supposed to be an LA exclusive. This one was supposed to be like thousands of dollars and it ended up just dropping as a normal drop. But like, it's just crazy. Like there's some sizes and I can't remember which colorways. I believe it's this one and this one. The pistachios are hitting for a little bit more now, mm -hmm. but like these two, there's some sizes around like 250. It's absolutely crazy how low this shoe is. This is, what, your investment shoe? Yeah. Yeah, This I, I can't believe how low they are already. The stock must have been super high on them. And to mention, they sell like crazy. Yeah, right we now. sell them like crazy. So if you can, if you're a reseller out there picking them up at a good price, and if you can afford to hold them, you definitely should. Everything Union goes up. We saw it with the ones. We saw it with what? Fours. The fours, fours everything. everything, yeah. Even the fours were hated on when they came out at first, but you it's see them now. It's yeah. a dunk. So, this is a dunk, And it's yeah. a Union. Like, look at the Union Jordan ones, obviously. I mean, the next hype thing to a Jordan 1 is a dunk. I'm not saying they're gonna hit $3,000 or whatever, but they're definitely gonna jump. I mean, it's, they I mean, could easily be a $1,000 yeah, shoe. I mean, it's, it's definitely a good color. All three of these colors are good colors. But yeah, that wraps it up for my personal pick, mixing with the summer shoe and my investment shoe. Let me know what you guys think of my picks. Guys, I'm gonna be ending it off with the grand finale. I'm gonna be getting to my investments, my summertime shoe, and my personal shoe for summer 2022. But I'm gonna do mine a little bit different. I'm gonna do a shoe not to invest in. This is gonna be my not investing shoe because I've seen a lot of people talking about investing into these. They are low, so I would understand the reasoning behind it. But when it comes down to quality, and craftsmanship, whatever you want to call it, doesn't doesn't hit for me or anybody in the shop, honestly. Um, Noah was even saying he liked the shoes and the mock-up, stuff like that, but in person, it's just not it. The quality's terrible. It's it's really, really, really bad. Um, we were just talking about just like all the suede, stuff like that, and the shoe almost looks, not deformed, but it's just not the same as like a normal Jordan 4. It doesn't have the same shape to it. It's very, very cheap quality. I can't even explain 
to another Jordan 4, uh, really the quality wise on it, because it's just probably the worst I've seen, if I'm being 100% honest. It's just not very clean. Um, even if you grab something like these, like these just came out. They didn't do a bad job on these at all. These are super clean on the military blacks. Very, very clean. But just like looking at them, like the cut on this part right here, this little gray, gray part is like way higher than this one. If you look at it, it's just, I don't even know how to explain the it. The netting looks kind the, of weird. The too. netting looks really, really weird on them. Just it has like a deformed shape to them. Um, they definitely rush these for sure. I I just don't like this shoe at all. I don't think it's very clean. Uh, the Green Glow 4 is a, you know, basically a remodeled version. This one is of the Green Glow 4 and based on infrared. And I wish we had a Green Glow 4. We had yeah. a pair, but they sold. And you can even see on those, the quality and craftsmanship, all that stuff is way, way better. It's just not a very good shoe in my personal opinion. Um, I don't think the colors are really that bad. I just think the shoe and the way they did it, you can tell they half-assed it for sure. So I would advise, this is just my personal opinion, not buying into these because the quality is terrible on them. And I think people are going to soon realize that. People come in all the time talking about them, how the quality is not all there, wanting to sell them because, you know, pretty much they don't want them anymore because obviously the quality is not there. And that is my not to invest in shoe. My shoe for summertime. My summertime shoe is going to be the off-white dunks. Um, obviously off-white dunks are going to running you a little bit more money um, so it's not so much on the affordable side but I will say it is a good time to get them before they start skyrocketing like crazy we've already seen some pairs you know one-off pairs kind of skyrocket and go up like crazy just like ones you don't normally see like we have like the lot 18s right here this one skyrocketed in price um, some of the sizes are pushing a thousand you know, even like this one lot 39 there's some prices you know, reaching the thousand dollar range. But these are like the European ones, Asian ones, stuff like that. US ones, definitely there was more production. So I would say, you know, I mean, obviously you're not gonna know every single one that's US, whatnot, but I would just say eat them up, buy them up for summertime if you can. Buy them sooner rather than later, just cause obviously Virgil did pass away. These are never coming back out again. Once people start wearing their pairs, obviously there's gonna be less in the market. That means market goes up. Even like this one, I don't even believe this is a US one, but like this one's only got like 500 bucks compared to a one that's like at $1,000. It just depends on colorway, stuff like that. But if you can snag one up for a good price, I think it's a good summertime shoe before the price just kind of skyrockets and goes up and everything like that. A lot of these ones right here are more like normal release ones, United States wise. And then you have like a little bit more one-off ones like this that, you know, even like this one is lot 19. You don't see this one as much. We have it here for 500 bucks, eight and a half. So I could definitely see all these off-white lot dunks within the next year or so being around the thousand dollar range, depending on size, stuff like that. All of these, I mean, they could all be pushing that. So it really just depends on the colorway size, stuff like that. But like I said, the more people wear them, the more there is less on the market. So I think that's a good summertime shoe. I think it's a low top. Like we've been saying, you can wear with pants, you can wear with shorts, you can wear with, you know, cut off socks. You can wear them with like little ankle socks. You can wear them with Nike socks. You can wear them with anything and everything like that. Personal, my personal for me, I'm gonna go with Jordan 1 Lowe's. I'm a huge Jordan 1 Low fan. Um, I love Jordan 1 Lowe's. I grabbed the Starfish right here, but I mean, it goes for pretty much, I'm not singling out just any colorway. It goes for pretty much any colorway. You know, I even like these, like the uh, Lance Mountains right here. These ones are super cool. It's like an SB. These are definitely more of the SB looking cut ones. I am more of a fan of myself. I'm not a huge fan of just like the basic Jordan 1 Lowe's. I just don't really like these that much personally but like these ones right here what do you call these this is an sb it's just a jordan it's low. just a jordan one low but it's not that different it's not that's called the full locker jordan one low. yeah I'm just kidding. i don't know what the i don't know what the official name <laughs> it's is it's basically the full locker jordan one low i mean it's that's the truth i mean like the tongue has got the nike air on it this one's got the jump man it's which def definitely going to be a lot more better quality on these for sure but for all you resellers those fly to the lows yeah oh yes full these, lows, these sell like... great for us we sell them like crazy and there's nothing wrong with them i just it's personal. not our personal preference. not my personal favorite um like even like jordan one lows you can go into like the travis lows over here or you can go into like the chicago lows like i love this style of cut when it comes to the Jordan 1 lows, a lot more. Just the OG. The OG look more so than the... Um, well, this is technically a retro low. Those aren't retro, the other ones. That's true. I mean, then you can spend the big bucks. You can get into the um, flipping Travis lows right there. So it's just any of those. Honestly, Jordan 1 lows are gonna be my personal shoe. Like I said, I picked out the Starfishes just cause that was the closest one to me. Like I said, there's Lance Mountains, there's Travis's, there's Chicago's. Um, that's just personally me. A lot of these are pricier shoes for sure, but this one, not too bad, you know, 300 bucks. Not terrible in nowadays world, but those are my three picks for investing, summertime, and personal. What's going on guys? It's your boy Cody here, Drippy Clean AZ. 
If you guys saw in the last video, I showed you a tutorial how to clean some pairs. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to ice a pair. We actually got a pretty heater right here. We got the Spider-Man origin stories. They are, I've never done a Jordan 1 yet, so I'm pretty hyped about doing these. I usually do 11s, some 6s. These aren't too yellow, but as you can tell, some yellowing over here, around the heel. First, you wanna grab, uh, well, the best thing is Salon Hair 40. It's cheap, you can buy a huge bottle. Comes with a little nice nozzle, so you can pour on easily. So, right here, pour it on the heel. Somewhere on the toe. That's actually not too bad, so this will be pretty quick. Usually it takes like, I would say a good 48 hours for a pair to get iced, but this one is gonna look like it's gonna be like probably 10 hour. Get a nice little toothbrush or a brush, whatever works for you. I just use a toothbrush because it's cheaper. Just wanna apply it everywhere. Maybe a little bit more on the, it's getting a little too dry. <laughs> you know what I mean? <gasps> oh shit. So you wanna get it nice and soaked. It's okay if you get it on the midsole, it won't hurt anything. Then you wanna take your saran wrap, make sure the heel is completely covered all the way to the toe as tight as you can get so there's no air squeeze it tight so the um light can uh hit it real well if there's if there's wrinkles like this it'll make it harder for the light to hit it so you want to get as tight as possible then we take it to the ice box so for an ice box what you want to get is an led light which uh this one voltage is 100 to 240 voltage 50 to 60 hertz. That's all you really need to know about this. This is just a LED light. This one cost me like, I think it was like $30. The box, you can get Target, Walmart, wherever. Jenny tub. Um, this cost me only $8, the little tub. And then you put tin foil all on the inside, even on the lid, so the light reflects off each other and just keeps hitting the shoes. And then I have a little Vans box in here to keep the shoes flat so the light hits the whole sole evenly. So, this is how I put them on it in there. Make sure that the saran wrap is on good, nice and tight. So I put it nice and flat, just like that. Put it right on the toe, so nice and flat and even. And this puppy is bright, so you might get blinded. You want to just put it. Oh yeah, and also obviously cut out a hole for the light. You just put it over, and then there you go. You just sit and wait. Making money. Uh, this session, I'll check on it in like four hours. Look at it. If it's pretty ice and clean, then I'll just end it there. But I'm guessing this is gonna take like an eight hour, eight hour icing. So by the end of the day, it should be done. All right, we haven't even took a look at the pairs yet, but they've been in the ice box for a total of like eight hours today. So we're gonna take our first look at them. So let's take a check. Let's take a look, 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 look. Check, check. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna take one pair out and I'm just gonna bring them out so you can see them not under the purple light. But as you can tell, they have definitely done some magic so far. This is gonna go for another, I say four hours. I'm gonna have to clean it and then put new solution on. But after that, guaranteed it's gonna be icy. Look at my page to see the results of these. They will be posted up on my page, Dripping Clean AZ. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Please make sure to comment down below who had the best picks in today's video. Like Armand said, make sure to comment down below because you know, we went through some thoughts on this. We really picked out some good stuff for you guys, but hopefully you guys got some knowledge off of it, some investment advice, some personals maybe for the summer as well as just stuff we're rocking on the summertime. But don't forget Atlanta this weekend. As you guys are seeing this right now, we are there. So we're gonna be sneaker shopping behind the scenes. We got day one, day two sneaker com. We're super excited, ETL. Never been. I think the only one that's been is Koo. We're going to be in the building. SneakerCon oh. Atlanta. Yes. In the building. Yes. In the A. We're going to have fun catching out. I'm waiting to see what's there. What's going to be happening. What's going down. Who say what's up. Meet? Say what's up to us. Hey, everybody. Come to the booth. Say hey. Say what's up. Let me know how you feel. What you're feeling. What you like. What you don't like. And, you know, press subscribe. Just get in there. Press subscribe. Hey, you heard it. You heard it from the man. But like we said, we're gonna be ATL all weekend, so show some love to us, as well as don't forget two year anniversary. Yes, it's gonna come up sooner than you think. So, make sure you guys are here. Like we said, July 16th. July 16th, baby. Make sure to show some love, come by, and I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, say goodbye to the people. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And See you guys at SneakerCon. Yes, sir. We're out. Later.